it going today ladies and gentlemen welcome back to the channel thanks for stopping by and checking out this video today we're going to be talking about probably my new favorite rucksack this is the hidden woodsman and this is the day ruck and I believe they call it the ranger green so if this is something you're interested in don't go away all right so like I said we have the hidden woodsman day ruck this is a 25 liter pack and this you can find this over at the hiddenwoodsman.com Malcolm makes all these by hand um, I have one of his day ruck 2.0's and his haversack and they're just both awesome quality really top of the line pieces of gear All right, so we're just going to talk about some of the features of this thing here just like his other packs it's just real high quality made you have I believe it's either a 500 or a thousand or a thousand D Cordura and really good stitching all the way around you can see his little logo there you can get it with or without a velcro patch so you can get a hook and loop field on the front if you want to put some morale patches uh, really heavy duty buckles with really nice keepers on each of them and just the stitching all the way around is just top quality as you can see on top you put some of the straps on top so you can actually put like a bedroll or anything like that on top and then same for the bottom as well if you look at the bottom there's some more straps so you can put you know a tent or a sleeping pad a wool blanket anything like that you also have the molly or pals webbing on each side so that you can put on some accessories you can put on a canteen or another pouch just for some extra room which I'm probably gonna do do that here soon um, this color is the ranger green with coyote webbing and I just think that's a real slick looking bag there real good grab handle on it um, as I said it's got really good buckles and this is kind of where he shines as well it's hard to believe that this is all hand done by Malcolm the actual straps are really good quality with extra loops real nice back uh, support and cushion You've got good airflow so that your back doesn't sweat as bad I know mine does on a lot of packs and then you also have the churn, uh, sternum strap right here once again really good quality buckles you got keepers on every end so that you don't got stuff flopping all over the place and it is adjustable all right so that's just some of the features on the exterior of the bag uh, we're gonna dive down here inside of it here in just a second um, but today we just thought we'd come out had a couple hours to kill so you know me if I got a chance to get out in the woods I'm definitely gonna take advantage of that so I just kind of threw some stuff in here depending on the weather that we had we're just out here for a few hours um, there was a chance of rain but it looked like that pack or passed through so we're just gonna kind of dive inside and I can show you what I got in here so another key feature on all, most of his packs is he has a really well done hatchet sleeve just right now I just got a uh, small folding saw in there because we're just out for today but you can fit a pretty decent pack axe in there or a hatchet and then you put this over there and when you're walking it's never going to come out really good quality stitching and it is doubled up and it feels like there's some kind of uh, maybe like a plastic in there to actually keep that from when the axe head is riding on it so you're not going to get bad wear and tear um, we'll get to the top of the bag another feature I really like is these flaps and they do pass through you can pass through each one I'm not sure what you would use that for but it is kind of nice to have with a nice little buckle and we can just open up and you can see the organization on the inside I just kind of threw this together because there was a chance of rain and we're just out here for the day but just on top just got a small hammock and we thought it was going to be pretty rainy so I got one of those grabber blanket kind of tarps uh, just to keep stuff dry and then my small little uh, go-to little survival kit it's got you know a couple water filters in there uh, compass fire steel uh, things like that and here if you see on the inside of the pack it is all blaze orange like on some of his other pouches and packs um, really nice see-through mesh compartment there so you can just kind of have a, a grabber uh, bag in that one I just have some bug spray because the bugs are horrible flashlight uh, little small first aid kit right here it is hydration compatible so you got a small loop for a bladder and then a pouch and this pouch also will fit a small laptop computer so if you want to use this as like a day bag 
a really good feature. He's got two pouches here that you can use either just pressed up against and you don't have to use them so you can put more volume inside of the bag or they actually are designed to fit two large water bottles. So on this one here I just have a large water bottle on this side down in the bottom and I still have room in here I could actually put more things like a small stove or something like that but I have my tried and true Stanley cook kit that everybody's seen and there was chance of rain so I have a GI poncho use that as a shelter if need be and then a shemag and a cotton bandana go ahead and shove all this stuff back in there there is actually quite a bit of room if you want to not use the pouches and if you're going to use this for like an overnight bag or a weekend bag you can really cram a lot of stuff in there i believe it's 25 liters i'll have to check and i'll put it on the screen somewhere over here you can just kind of put everything back in close it up flip it over and I do like these older kind of styles uh, brought back. They just are tried and true and they work great. And with a good quality material like this, uh, it'd even be somewhat water resistant. I wouldn't, you know, get it super soaked, but definitely a top quality bag. All right, so, well, it actually kind of sounds like rain, so we're gonna finish this up. This is just kind of my overview of this bag. I've had it for maybe a month or two now, so I, I, I've used it several times, but I really haven't given it a good hard uh, like overnight or a weekend trip or anything like that. We are doing a trip here at the end of the month up to Montana, so I plan on taking this around as my day pack up there, so stay tuned for those videos. Um, but if you're interested in a high quality USA made hand stitched piece of art that you can actually probably pass down to your grandkids one day definitely go check out Malcolm at the hidden woodsman.com he's got several different models a bunch of other stuff and it's all hand done here in the USA so feel free to check that out all right so if this is a video that you liked feel free to give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to hit that red subscribe button down below and also if you are a subscriber remember to click the bell notification down below so that you're notified when we put up new videos uh, but this is Matt with Outside the Box. Thanks for checking out this video, and we'll see you next time. Take care. How long has it been there? Seventeen days. Your outro, outro right here. <laughs>